Oh my god. Good morning once again. Guys, it is 31st. The very last day of the month, the very last day of the year as well. 31st December 2021, guys. And we are here to talk. Hmm? How about that? So, uh, please get ready to listen and just you let me know whatever I think or anything that maybe you want to tell me just hit the comment section and let me know so guys welcome back already let me welcome you guys back officially welcome back to the channel i am eunice and this is actually pride your village content channel um if you're new here please make it a point to subscribe sorry about that i'm taking water that's the problem meanwhile i uh, grab something already i have my water right here with me so in case my throat dries up I'll sip on it a bit. So guys, <coughs> like I was telling you, <coughs> if you're not subscribed, please make it a point to subscribe. And yes, join the family. You're surely going to have a good time with me. I can guarantee you that. Because I'll show you a lot of things that you have never seen or even the things that you have never thought they really exist. But when they really do, <laughs> so <laughs> please make it a point to subscribe. With that aside, guys, um, the year has been a long one and I think I'm just here to wrap it up with you guys like I just want to tell you how my year went from January and this is December the very last day so I'm just here to share with you my experience to show you my gratitude to tell you where my pain was to tell you where I laughed like just to share with the whole year generally how it went so hmm? how about that are you ready to listen please if you are then just sit and continue watching now for starters it has been a bad year. actually this has been my worst year my worst like ever since i was born this has been my worst year you just won't believe it leave alone that the, 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 the general problem the the corona issue and all that that has been something like at least we've lived with corona for i think this is the second or third year something like that so it's kind of becoming something not new like they say it's the it's now the new normal so it's kind of i wouldn't say that was really really okay yes it it also affected a lot of people a lot and i know and um it has not been easy on everyone i know so that is not like what I meant when I say it has been my worst year. It has been so rough on me that, unfortunately, I, I, I didn't even share it with you guys. So none of you probably know, but I went through a lot of pain. I, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to come through that pain. I think it was just prayers that helped me. But up to now, I still break down. I'm human. Yes, you might think I'm a jolly person. I laugh a lot and all that. But trust me, guys, I also have a point where I break down and cry, like cry, cry, and just breathe fresh air in. And I'm like, okay, Eunice, let it go, let it go, let it go. You know? So like I told you guys, um, it's been my worst year. I lost a loved one. You know that pain? It's even hard to talk about it. And that is the reason when sometimes... I see a comment about my family and I just don't even want to reply it. I just ignore it because it breaks me down when I start talking about those things, when I start sharing it, when I start, you know, when I start flashing back at the pain. Guys, I lost my father this very year. <laughs> you know, it's something tough. I had never gone through all that pain before. Okay, it's hard to say those things, guys. Let it just pass, I think. But just now I lost my dad and it was cancer. And we only got to know it was cancer the day. Like we got to know about it was cancer when it was today and he passed on the next morning by 5 a.m. You know, like, oh, life has been rough, like rough. When I say rough, if you've noticed, okay, unfortunately, you, 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 you didn't really know what was happening in that period and I was not doing any videos because I was so emotionally down that I could not even talk much. I could not, I could not just share anything. I think I just, 
I started releasing the pain slowly, slowly, slowly until now. I still have a lot of pain in me, but of course, I know with God, everything is possible. So it happens that my dad was admitted in the hospital and he stayed in for like a month. And you know, like the doctors never told us it was cancer. All they were telling us, I think they told personally when I went to see him that very day, when he passed on like the next day, the very, my very last time that I saw him, the doctors told us, they they were yet to do a test because he went through an operation so they told us they were yet to do a test on that what was um ex like what was got out of in, inside the stomach to know like to examine it and to before they conclude that it was cancer oh just like that so i went home but of course i was broken and all that the next morning <laughs> by five my dad breathed his last. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that it happened. So, But I thank God that um, I was so close to him, especially during his last days. I was so close to him that at least we shared, like I shared in his moments, I shared in his joy, I shared in his pain, I shared in everything of his that I really feel blessed for that. Because I'd go to the hospital like every single day. Like every single day I'd be at the hospital and when I come back at night. Because they would not allow many people to sleep at the hospital. Remember it was in the middle of a pandemic also. So the restrictions were really tough. In that even when you just go to visit, it's not an easy thing there at the hospital. So they only restricted like maximumly two people, caretakers. So the rest of us were just going, coming back. My mother was of course there full time. Yeah, until until the very last minute so the rest of us would just go and come back and my brothers would sleep there as well with my mom so Ooh, when i say it was tough guys just know it is a tough year and it's the hardest thing to do in this world to lose a loved one very tough but i thank god that at least we managed to pull through as a family yes we still break down but it happens as believers we know he's in a better place that is the only way we would really feel at least strong about it to know that he went to a good place because of what he was when he was here with us so guys pray for me when i say pray for me please i mean it like i mean it whatever religion i don't really care whatever religion you are please pray for me just just pray for strength like i really really need it because i break down a lot though i don't do it on cameras because i don't know I, I think I always love to to hide my pain, but today I just came out and said it. <laughs> so guys, please continue praying for me and for my family, just to, to carry on with the strength and che continue cherishing his, his, his memories as well. So, I'm here, you guys are pulling through again. And then, at some point, after that, I think I started being really, really consistent on, on giving you guys videos. Uh, it so happens that I built a big family as well online, which uh, it's something that I don't take it for granted. I appreciate a lot the love and I can't, I don't even know how to, to say thank you, but I think the biggest thing has been God like it was just good from day one and this has been a good way for me to kind of to kind of fight my pain like it helped me a lot because it got me a, a bit busy like you know at least i don't sit down a lot and keep thinking and keep thinking and keep crying like i used to do because I, just to know that i have a big family outside there in the world even if i've never met any of you physically but at least i can tell that you guys love me a lot and that is something that i really thank god for because i think that has been the um one of the the ways that i'm really really moving out of my pain from the sad memories of losing my dad so because i don't think if it wasn't this I don't think I'd really, really be somehow busy or something. Like, I don't know what would really keep me away from overthinking, you get. So, 
this is something that i really thank god for and i really thank each one of you you guys just don't know how much um i, I love you I, I don't even how to how to show you but you guys um i don't know you just you just all of you just don't understand it just know that wherever you are and you're subscribed and you really love me genuinely you don't know how much i really appreciate because the things you have done for me the love you have showed me carried me from a very very big hole and it's really getting me out of that and i can't take that for granted and i really pray that you, all of you will be blessed in whatever you do abundantly guys like may god bless all of you in whatever in every single thing that you touch i pray that it will be blessings all through guys so <sighs> here we are and the year is ending again so we hope that the year will start and it will be something better than this year because ah, oh, the pandemic, this, that, a lot of pain here, there, I, I don't know. I know a lot of you also lost maybe your loved ones, but hey, let's just be strong. You know, it happens. At the end of the day, it is the only way we are going to get back to God. So as a believer, I know no one can go to heaven at life. So it is the only way that we will all go back to God and we just cannot avoid it like no one is going to skip through that so it is okay feel strong feel loved and also love yourselves like the first thing is if you don't love yourself no one will love you so love yourself first and show to the world that you love yourself and that is the reason why i and i i, I love myself so much i might not be rich i might not have all the fancy things that a lot of people have but what i've showed to myself is love i have learned to love myself the way i am and i think that is the reason why most of you love me because i love myself so much so much that i like like i know my worth I know my worth and that is the reason why most of you love me i know that because you've told me the comment section so guys um like this is what i would really tell you learn to love yourself first if you want to be loved learn to love yourself first and love others as well love your neighbors you might not have a lot maybe to give out but just give out whatever you have the love alone is already enough you get of course when you love someone you'll not see someone go hungry next to you and then you'll just when you have a lot maybe in your house or whatever so when you learn to share love surely it will come back to you in even a bigger better way trust me because i'm only saying this through experience I've only, i'm only saying this through experience the little that i give out as in form of love um I, I see people loving me even more and i'm like okay god this is just you because i mean see i don't have much to give out i don't have maybe a lot of food to share i don't have maybe a lot of whatever i share to share but i try to give out the little that i have even if just a cup of rice or a cup of whatever i try to so guys learn to love yourself first before anyone loves it that is the bottom line and then of course um in whatever religion you believe in please pray god exists hmm? so that has just been the year good and bad okay it started bad but it's ending not so bad because i have you all so i thank god for your presence in my life once again and I think this is going to be my last video of this year. That is the reason I just decided to sit down and tell you a few things about me here and there. Happy New Year.